Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Valencia in Spain. I've got a confession to make. I've been to Spain a few times and I've seen absolutely nothing of the country and I'm going to address that now. My first ever trip to Spain was to Malaga where I caught a train to Algeciras and then crossed the border into Gibraltar, so nada of the country. My next trip was to Barcelona, a business trip over a weekend, again so nothing. Next trip was to Madrid, a business trip over a weekend, so nothing. And then the most recent one was just before COVID when I caught my trains from Portugal to Vietnam. I did a little excursion across the border from Villa Real de Santo Antonio to Ayamonte. Uh, I was there for about three hours and then headed back into Portugal. And then from Hondai in France across the border into Iran, again, three hours there and then back into France. But I'm going to address that now. I'm here in Valencia for about seven nights and I'm going to be using that as a bit of a base to see different things and I'm taking you guys along with me as well. But first things first, let's have a look around Valencia. It's supposed to be a magnificent city and today is allocated just for a big long walk and I'm taking you guys along with me as well. Let's get started. First things first, let's have a quick breakfast. This is an Impala de la Cobopa, a fried turnover consisting of salmon filling. Next was a pastry called a Gran Napolita, a simple pastry consisting of a mm. cheese and ham filling. That's really good. The City of Arts and Sciences is a cultural and architectural complex built on the former bed of the Turia River. It contains an IMAX cinema, planetarium, science museum, landscaped walk featuring indigenous plants to the Valencia region, oceanographic park and opera house. The site is one of the 12 treasures of Spain. This arts and science area is absolutely incredible. I really enjoyed watching this photo shoot. The girls look stunning in their traditional Valencian dresses. Each dress costs a minimum of 1,500 euros. I was thinking of going into the oceanographic exhibition, but at a starting price of 33 euros and being on a tight budget, I thought, hmm, maybe next time. This is one thing I really wanted to see, the Turia Gardens. It's actually on the bed of a former river. Valencia has always been prone to floods, but in 1957 they had a really bad one and the city authorities decided to divert the river instead of going through the city to around the west and the south of the city. In true fashion, they wanted to turn this area into a freeway, but the people said the river belonged to the people. They wanted the river to remain for the people and so they turned it into a park. And I think it's about seven kilometers long. It's an amazing place. Let's go for a walk. Every 500 meters seems to have a different theme. We've had the dog walking area, the child activity area, the skateboarding area, and now this is the outdoor competition area. I arrived in time just to see the Junta Central Falera Canute Championship. 
The game of Canute consists of throwing coins against a reed cane planted in the ground. This serves as a base for the coins bet by the players, and in which the one who makes the coins fall wins. It's thought the origins date back to the Muslim era of the 8th to 13th century. trees. There were a number of football matches in progress, a baseball game, and even a rugby match. This ball was kicked into touch, missing my head by around two feet. Well guys, as you can imagine, a park which is seven kilometers long does feel as if it's going on forever. I'm gonna go off now and hit a place called Barrio del Carmen. My notes here say, and I quote, forget about maps and venture into this labyrinth of coupled streets from the ancient quarter that flourished between Muslim and Christian walls. Medieval buildings, palaces, frescoes, shops, and restaurants you won't be able to resist. It won't take much because I'm starving, so let's go looking for somewhere to eat. Well, there's definitely a labyrinth here. Look at this old door. Wow. Yeah, I don't think you'd get lost. It's not like the souks of Morocco, but uh, lots of little hidden alleys. Look at that one. I think I'm lost, but I don't mind. El Carmen is full of these little squares. Every time you turn a corner, there's another one. Right, I need to get some food. It is 3 p.m. and I'm starving. I haven't had lunch. I love seafood and that paella was just, mwah, that was up there, that was delicious, absolutely delicious. The beer was nice, but the paella was tops. Right, I'm heading back to the hotel because my legs are sore, I've walked for miles today. Plan of action is maybe tonight, maybe tonight, go out, have a look at some of the sights at night. Tomorrow we're off to the beach because that's an attraction here in Valencia. 
and then we'll have another look around the city centre. Okay guys, it's a bit on the chilly side so I'm going to head back to the hotel, but I'll see you tomorrow. We'll go out to the beach, we'll have a look around there, then we'll have a look around the city centre. Well guys, day two of my Valencia adventure and I think we're onto a winner. Valencia is absolutely gorgeous. We're here at the marina, we're going to head down to the beach and then we're going to catch the tram into the city centre again. I think I like Valencia. Stunning beach. It's huge. <laughs> So guys, what did I think of Valencia? It's an absolutely stunning city, it's one of my favourites and I give it a 9 out of 10. I would give it a 9.5 out of 10 apart from one little problem and that's the airport. Valencia's got a really good metro service and an airport bus service but it stops running between 10.30 and 11 o'clock at night Mondays to Fridays. It runs later at the weekend but Mondays to Fridays it stops by 11 o'clock which means if your flight arrives into Valencia after 11 p.m you have to catch a taxi into the city centre. That will set you back £25. Welcome to Valencia. Otherwise, it's very hard to find any faults in this place. They've got great weather, they've got palm trees, they've got paella to die for, they've got a fantastic beach, they've even got a Chinatown. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming with me to Valencia, and I'll see you next time.